by having people sign their names next to each other. It is a act of unity to stand next to someone of a different political party, of a different race, of a different religion. This was just two musicians with a car, a guitar, and their voices, believing that there was something better out in the world and that we could somehow pull that out by showing the ultimate vulnerability of going in a car and asking people to sign it and going from state to state with no grand plan other than to bring people together in a very divided year. the greatest thing you've ever seen. It's awesome. Hey. Hey. Welcome hey. back. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Nathaniel, Jillian. Thank you for joining me today to talk about State of the Unity. What an ins inspirational film. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us on. This is awesome. Well, how did two musicians with a guitar, a car, and their voices unite the country? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we started really small. We started in Brooklyn, New York with an idea to go to all 50 states uh, and unite people with uh, music, community, and collaboration. We took our car and our guitar, went to everywhere that we could. We would jump up on top of the car. We would sing. We'd have people sign their message of unity on this touring vehicle, which you can see. And, uh, and then we auctioned it off for a children's hospital. And uh, in the end, we were able to edit that and improve it into a full feature length film, which is coming out on October 6th. This Friday. <laughs> and uh, and one of the cool things is that, uh, you know, the music really allowed us to bring people together peacefully and uh, really does speak to the power of music in bringing together people in a way that's meaningful. And ultimately we hope that the film brings empathy back to people's hearts because you get to see a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different languages for love, and uh, and two people pursuing their dreams with little to nothing uh, to, to get going. So we made it work. Awesome. And, you know, eight years in the making, which states, people, or events, is there any particular stories that stood out for you on your journey? Oh, my goodness. There's so many great stories from the journey. And the one that just really is popping off in my mind right now is we were in the South. And I was in a, at a gas station. I was pumping gas. He had run in to go get something. And there was a gentleman who was approaching me really quickly. And I wasn't quite sure what to do because he was like really coming up on me fast. And I just remember being like, okay, I'm going to say, hey, how's it going? And then he was like, hey, what's up with the car? Because at this point, you can see the car here. There are thousands of messages of unity written all over it. So it's like, we couldn't go anywhere without someone saying something which we loved. And I said, oh, it's the unity car. Would you like to sign it? And he was like, yes, I would love to sign it. And, he, and he's like, I've just been having a really rough 24 hours. And I said, well, what happened? And he said, I lost my best friend to a heroin overdose. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious. And I said, I'm so sorry to hear this. And so I, I gave him a Sharpie and I said, you know, please write whatever on the, the whatever you're feeling in your heart on the unity car. And, and he wrote peace and love and his name was Sean. And I just remember there was just so much pain and brokenness in his eyes. And I gave him a huge hug and I asked him if he'd be okay if I said a little prayer over him and he said, that'd be okay. And so that moment really hit me because when we were doing this, going from city to city, state to state, you just don't know where people are at, right? Someone could have lost their, their mother. They could have lost their best friend the day before they could be depressed press they could be have just lost their job you, you just don't know so the point of this tour was to hold space and empathy in my heart first off so that I could hold space for people who were coming to the car peacefully and signing their message and then carrying that message forward from city city state to state so that Sean really impacted me because I realized that all of us are we have we're broken right so this this democracy needs healing and there's ways that we can do that peacefully. And I believe so deeply that art and music is that catalyst forward. That was definitely reaching people. It's such a great uh, message that you both are delivering. Uh, why we, do you think we're told today that we're more divided than united? Because I think of the Pledge of Allegiance, one nation indivisible. I think the younger and the next generation, they're not taught how to be Americans, how we all are the same. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I just think that's missing today, that patriotism and that indivisibility is missing. And I think when I watch this film, that that's what you're bringing through. So you're, you're reuniting America. 
Yeah. And I think that the, one of the most important things to think about is like, like, maybe we've gotten the language around what actual unity is wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think that when we went on this journey, we were like, what do we even know about what you're saying? You know, in this, in the Pledge of Allegiance, we're talking about unity, but we're like, what does it actually mean? And so what we learn on this path, what we learn on this journey is that it's not a shared narrative of a future. It's a narrative of a shared future, a future in which we can continue to hold space for people in their differences and not feel like we have to be threatened by them. I mean, differences are going to happen. We obviously are a very diverse country. Mm -hmm. And I think that diversity is actually one of the things that we can celebrate, but it can also be something that can work against us if we allow it to. And we say, well, you don't think like me. You don't look like me. You don't talk like me. You don't understand me. But that's not actually the point. The point is, is that when people come together, like in the film, when they're signing something and they're doing the work together, it becomes less important what side of the political spectrum you're working from or how you view certain social issues. And what you're finding is that when you bring people together and work, you're actually able to go above politics. And what we say about this film is that it is not a political film. This is a film that goes above politics. It goes to the human heart. It goes to the point of this country, right? So like, you know, here we are trying to be unified, but in a way that we don't quite get it right. And I think in the film, you see two people who launched from Brooklyn, New York, previously living and growing up in South Bend, Indiana. You see them going on this journey to broaden their horizons, broaden their 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 view of what this country looks like. And ultimately, we hope that people are able to go on that journey with us and further understand what a real vision of unity looks like and that it's not about threatening others to be like us, but rather holding space for them and their differences and not threatening, not being threatened by that. I love your passion, both of you. It's just fantastic. And I, I hear you're going home back home to South Bend. You're doing a premiere there, the Bergamot's return. Yes. We are. We're so excited. So this Friday, October 6th, is a big day in our camp because one, it is the launch of State of the Unity in all of the states on on demand. So Prime, Apple TV, Dish, AT&T, Uverse, all the different places. You can literally sit on your couch and say State of the Union, it'll pop up and you can rent it or you can buy it. And then we are celebrating, we're bringing the film to the silver screen this Friday in our hometown at Cinemark Movies 14. And, and we're a, so excited because Cinemark a, has like a lot of history for us. So when we met in high school, he saw Lord of the Rings there for the first time. I saw <laughs> Harry Potter in this theater for the first time. So we're like, oh my gosh, our film is going to screen at the same place we saw some of our favorite films. And it's so. been a cool time. This has been an interesting time for us because, you know, totally going to geek out with my Midwestern roots, oh but BestBuy.com just launched. Uh, you can now buy our DVD on BestBuy.com. So growing up, when I grew up in South Bend, that was something that I bought all my CDs there. <laughs> DVDs. And it was, you know, that was the only place to get CDs because it was yes. like a one choice. And so we've, we've been having amazing things happening along this journey that we never could have dreamed of we're so excited to bring it back to south bend for people just to have the ability to see this film we've been talking about it for years we've mm -hmm. been promoting it for years but now it's you know that you can get the pre-order right now which we encourage you to do it's the most meaningful way to contribute to the cause at this moment um on apple tv but Come this Friday, it'll be it'll be in Northern America where people can watch it from their you know televisions, from their phones, and then hopefully the message will continue to resonate. I will get the word out, and uh, and I think it's a noble cause that you auctioned the car off to a children's charity, but I think it belongs in the Smithsonian. To tell you the truth, hey, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, so that's Americana. That's a piece of American history right there. It's got a great story behind it too. Thank that you. means so Thank much you. to us. And a little fun fact, we just bought the Unity car back for a dollar. Give it to the Smithsonian. It belongs All in right. Washington, D.C. <laughs> Honestly, that... We're that, starting our campaign you today. Never know. <laughs> right next to the mash set and, and Archie Bunker's chair and the Fonz's jacket, it belongs right there. All right, yes. All right. Smithsonian. I we, uh, love that idea. The car. All right. Maybe we'll, uh, can, maybe we'll start with the Rock Hall. Hey, you know. Awesome. Then it'll make its way. I think everybody right now something. is just kind of looking to see, does this film have a future? Does it does it connect with the people? And, yeah. you know, I think this is our moment to show that. And in that, we have no idea where it will take us, but we're continuing to put our lives. We're terrified, but we're putting our lives into the hands of the viewers saying, hey, if you like this film, watch it. If you love it, share it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. It's a fantastic film. Fantastic message. I applaud you both and uh, good luck. And let's talk again soon. Thanks so much. We love it. Thanks Cheers. so much. Shine on. Thanks.